Hey there everyone, Morgan with the Van Answer here, and today I'm putting together these adorable charcuteries. It's everything you love about a charcuterie tray brought together into an individual serving. This makes it really easy to pick up and carry at a gathering, as well as to prep for your party. So follow along, and I'll show you how to make them. The first thing to decide is what kind of a vessel we want to build our charcuteries out of. Now it's better to pick something that's a little on the small side and have your food items exploding out of the top versus picking something that's too large and having it look really tiny inside. So if you'd like a reusable option, I've got a four ounce jelly jar or a wine glass here. Or if you'd like a disposable option, a nine or 10 ounce punch cup is a good one. Or I have a cardboard favor box here that you would usually see candy or popcorn put inside that would also work really well. For today's project, and because they're called specifically jarcuteries, I'm going to use the little jelly jar to build out my jarcuteries. Some other items that are handy to have around include some cocktail picks, some long toothpicks, or even some bamboo skewers. This is going to allow us to give some height to our food display, as well as making them really easy to pick up and eat. I have a free printable shopping list available of everything you need to assemble a charcuterie board, as well as suggested portions for easy shopping. I'll have that linked in the description box below if you'd like to check into that. The first element of our charcuterie is meat, and I'm using two different kinds today, prosciutto and pepperoni, and this is going to give me some different flavor profiles, shapes, and textures inside my jar. Our second element is cheese, and what most people think of when you say charcuterie trays. You want to pick at least three different kinds of cheeses in different textures and hardness levels, so I would recommend a soft, semi-soft, semi-hard, and a hard. So I'm using Gouda brie, and an Irish cheddar today in my jars. The third element is carbohydrates, or basically the vehicle for our meats and cheeses. The more variety you have here, the better. You want to think about shape, something that's tall, something that's small, different textures and flavors that will complement your cheeses. Honestly, anything goes in this category. So I've got some tall crackers, some baguettes, as well as my favorite pretzels available. The fourth element is accompaniments, anything that's going to accentuate our meats and cheeses, and this includes fresh fruits, dried fruits, vegetables, pickled items, nuts, and even some herbs to help garnish our displays. And this is a great opportunity to bring colors to our jars. Let's assemble our charcuteries. Now you want to think about this as you would a bouquet of flowers. We want to add height, texture, and interesting colors to this display because we always eat with our eyes before we put it in our mouths. So I'm going to start with my tallest cracker in the very back and then have some nuts and dried fruits in the bottom. And then I'm going to roll up my prosciutto into this long tube and that's going to give it some height so it's easy to grab out of the jar as well as visually interesting. On the other side of the cracker, I'm going to flank it with a pepperoni that I'm just going to fold into quarters, making a pepperoni rosette. I'm going to add two of these on top of a cocktail stick, and this is not only going to make it easy to hold and eat the pepperoni, but gets the bulk of the meat outside the edge of the jar and gives this exploding effect so that everything is kind of coming up and out of the jar and giving us a lot of volume without taking up a lot of room in the bottom of the jar. Next I'll add my smoked gouda wedge, which is my tallest piece of cheese, followed up by my piece of baguette. Now I decided to cube up my smoked cheddar into small pieces, and instead of putting that into the bottom of the jar, I'm going to add it to the top of one of these tall toothpicks and put an olive right between it. This is going to give us some visual texture and make it come up out of the edge of the jar. From here, I'm just going to continue adding in items that I love, and that's what jarcooties are all about. You want to pick meats, cheeses, fruits, vegetables, anything that you love to eat. You know, no matter how fancy or how simple you want this to be, make sure you're picking items that you and your guests are going to love. Finally, I'm going to end with a little bit of garnish of rosemary. This is going to bring a little bit of green and a lovely aroma to our display. By themselves or in a group, these charcuteries look really beautiful, and whether you've got a small gathering of a couple close friends or you're planning to do this for a wedding, they would look beautiful on either a board or in a tiered fashion just like this. I hope you were inspired by today's delicious project. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and subscribe below. I'd love to have you join my creative community as I do all kinds of event setups, party tutorials, and balloon projects. So until the next time, you can check out some of my other videos over here. And remember, stay creative, everyone. Bye.